Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks. I'm playing video series videos I've been doing for a little while now. Go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I did not choose the best color of shirt to go with this item, or did I? Really depends on your perspective, but we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over here and try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck, and whilst I'm doing all that, folks, well, I am wearing a very super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? Well, it happens to be my, boom, my brand spanking new soil shirt. Which, if you're unfamiliar with the band Soil, uh, that's probably somewhat fair. Um, I actually, so Soil's a band, right? They've been around for quite a while. I was vaguely aware of them, like, but I think the problem was I kind of associated them. Bands like, like, Seether and Hinder, which kind of wasn't really my era of things. Uh, I didn't even know that they were an Illinois band, and I've lived in Illinois my entire life. But just recently, they went on tour with a band called the Union Underground, so I decided to look more into it. And, like, you know, that's when I was like, oh, they're an Illinois band, and they're actually really fucking cool. Uh, so I got to see them perform just a few days ago now. Uh, they were really fucking badass. Loved their set, loved the energy they put into it. Shirt's very cool. It was actually the last extra-large shirt that they had. Normally, I'm a double X, but they didn't have any left. Those were gone. I got the last... <laughs> 1x which is about as <laughs> that's about as small as i can wear uh but i liked them so much not only did i get a shirt i went over there actually got some videos of their performance those videos are on this channel as well just in case maybe you want to check them out but anyway what am i trying for you today folks why is it again like depending on the shirt color good or bad for it well folks it happens to be the brand spanking new boom it's from sonic and this is their, literally brand new, just came out today, their Blackout Slush Float. And on the one hand, it matches the darkness of my shirt and the darkness of my heart, clearly. Uh, but on the other hand, it's going to make it hard to really get like a good picture because it's black on black. And, see, the whole reason for this, why it's called the Blackout Slush Float, is because it's uh, tying up for a uh, uh, an eclipse that's coming April 8th. So you get... Eclipse glasses too. So let's uh let's do this properly because we have to. So let's get the thing for the thing, see if they can actually work on my big ass head. Uh I cannot see, so they are doing that. Although I can look down, so let's get a thing for the thing. Ha! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I got a good shot or not, but we're just gonna roll with it. Anyway. I guess it's supposed to be, they're saying like cotton candy and dragon fruit. Let's find out together. Hmm. Okay. For some reason in my head, I was expecting it to be more of a shake. But there's definitely like layers going on there. So the bottom layer is definitely more slush than anything. And the thing is, I've, I've reviewed a number of things from Sonic now. I think this is the first time I've ever reviewed one of their slushes. Like, I know, like, that's a big thing for Sonic. I just, I don't know. I, I keep waiting. I kept waiting for, like, a, you know, a cool flavor or something to come out. Finally got one. Hmm. I don't know if I'm getting cotton candy or dragon fruit. It's fruity. Um, it's definitely sweet. Huh. I don't know. I mean, maybe dragon fruit? I don't know, man. My my brain doesn't immediately go to dragon fruit. And the idea of a slush shake is kind of weird, because you don't typically think of those two things mixing. Yeah, I don't know about this one, man. Like, I'm not... 
certainly not hating it or anything, but it's it's weird. I don't know. It's so like the mix of the slush and the shake. I really don't know about, man. I'm not sure I'm into that. I don't actively dislike it, but like the problem I run into with it is that it, the shake part almost is futile in the whole thing because it's like once it mixes with the slush, it just waters it down. I mean, I guess you could argue the point it gives it kind of like a the slush sort of like a creaminess, but I don't know that a slush needs or wants to have a creaminess. If you kind of get my thing. This is one of those things where, if you watch my show, you know I love, like, contrasting flavors and textures and stuff. You know, I think that those can work really well. But, it doesn't mean that all of them do. And in this instance, I kind of feel like that's the case. Uh, I don't really know that these two styles of drink really play that well together. Because the slush, I just want, like, a nice, super cold, refreshing, you know... Yeah, you know, semi-frozen drink. Whereas with the the shake, it's like I want something that's creamy. It's a little bit, you know, decadent. It's you know, it's a little bit more of a treat, kind of a dessert type of thing. I don't really think that I like. I'm, I'm getting more slush than I am anything else. But even when you do get the two together, like I don't know that it really works that well. And then because of that, you're really not getting, like, the proper flavor experience unless you're getting that mixture. But it comes in layers, so you kind of have to dig around to find it. Uh, I don't know, man. And then, I don't know, man, I'm not getting a cotton candy from this at all. It's just really sweet and fruity. I mean, if there's a cotton candy aspect, they are reaching. I, I really... It's one of those things where... Because I, I saw the announcement for this. Like, I got an ad for it because I do these reviews, and so I get stuff like that. And so I saw the thing on it, and I was like, okay, you know. I should have just read the headline and when it was available, but, you know, I read a little bit further, and that's when they're like, oh, it's cotton candy and uh, dragon fruit. I... Yeah, I think my brain is trying to look for that now, and it's like, mm, I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't know. Kind of. It's sort of like a fruity, creamy, almost like a darker berries and cream kind of thing. Like, it's fruity, but there's no, there's no tanginess, there's not a lot of bite. It's just sweet and kind of, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Um, I mean, okay, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Oh, uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to go with... For myself, I'm going to go with maybe out of morbid curiosity. Maybe I would get it again, like, because it's one of those things, like, I don't know, I'm not going to go out, go out and say that I outright dislike it. Like, I don't, I don't hate it or anything. It is kind of interesting. It's one of those things where, like, and I've mentioned this before in other reviews, I would rather have something that I'm not fully on board with, but that's at least interesting than something that I'm a little bit more on board with, but that's boring. So this definitely wins in that regard. Like, it's a weird mix of flavors and textures that I don't know fully come together in any true capacity. But there is part of my brain that, like, wants to, like, Rubik's Cube this together and make it work somehow. Um, so that would be more... I wouldn't get it just for shits and giggles. It would be more to, like to re-experience it and try to figure it out. Uh, if I'm recommending it to other people, though, I mean, it's a limited-time item. You get some glasses with it. 
you know, it's one of those things, like, well, especially when it's a limited time thing, I tend to give it a little bit more leeway, because it's like, you know, give it a shot, try it out. It is interesting and almost fun, you know, like, I don't think the flavor is anything. I personally wish they just would have gone, just gone for, like, a strong, like, blackberries and cream flavor or something like that. I think that would have worked really nice. Uh, I didn't personally get dragon fruit or cotton candy out of the whole damn thing, but maybe you will. You know, maybe your taste buds are more attuned to that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's at least worth trying out, I think. But I, I can't give it, like, a, a sterling recommendation because, yeah, I didn't really know what to make of it. So, anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, spend rest of your year. Folks, go over there, have yourselves a truly, total eclipse of the heart-tastic rest of your life. Final two things. Number one. Try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves having to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back. Try to mitigate level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do, folks. What's your association with Sonic? Um, you know, I've like I said, I've reviewed a few things. I have not been the kind. You know, I don't. I don't think I've been unfair, but like I, I certainly have not gone over there and you know touted them as being a part, any particular institution, but obviously some people really like their stuff. Um, you know, are there things that I haven't tried that I should try? I'm going to be reviewing a couple other things after this, so, you know, just wait for that. Um, yeah, just let me know, because like I said, man, you know, I mean, since I realized that I had a Sonic closer to me than I had originally thought, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll hit it up every now and again. So, anyway... Bye! And if you do watch the Eclipse thing, I mean, get, like, actual glasses. I don't give a shit about Eclipses. I've never understood the whole thing. It's cosmic. But, yeah, if you do, good on you. Just keep your fucking eyes safe. Bye. <laughs>